Inconsolable. Christians in Egypt mourn the death of a man who for 40 years was more than just a spiritual leader. Thousands made their way from around the country to pay their final respects to the late head of the Coptic Church. The moment simply too powerful for many. While some took comfort in asking God for mercy, others couldn't hold back. We need him. We need him. The sense of loss here quite clear. He was our beloved. He epitomized wisdom. He was such a consolation in all sorts of difficult times. Our loss is huge. The passing of the Coptic Pope leaves Christians who make up to 10% of Egypt's population more vulnerable than ever. For many people here, the death of Pope Shenouda could not have come at a worse timing. The country has been in political turmoil since Hosni Mubarak stepped down last year. And with an Islamist-dominated parliament, concerns among the Christians have only been mounting. The Pope died the same day lawmakers decided that 50% of the group that will write the country's new constitution will come from parliament, where Islamist parties have the largest number of seats. And all of this as the country prepares for its first presidential vote since the revolution. Despite the fact that he didn't support the protest that sparked the Egyptian uprising, the late patriarch still retained his status as a political guide for Christians here. Pope Shenouda was the one who managed to get us through all the crisis the church went through. We all followed his guidance and leadership. He was instrumental, not just as a church leader. And of course now we have concerns, particularly given the political atmosphere. Still, many here tried to focus their attention on mourning the man they called Baba, or Dad, with the charismatic leader's funeral set for Tuesday. Rawi Al Jazeera, Cairo.